Tory McNabb was been on death row, having been convicted of fatally shooting Montgomery police officer Anderson Gordon in September 1997. McNabb was convicted of two counts of capital murder, one for murdering Gordon while he was on duty and another for killing Gordon when he was sitting in his patrol car. McNabb was also convicted of two more charges of attempted murder. He was executed by lethal injection and his last words were, Mom, sis, look at my eyes. I got no tears. I am unafraid. To the state of Alabama, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Robert Erskine Childers was an English-born Irish writer best known for his novel The Riddle of the Sands. He became an Irish republicanist and smuggled firearms into the country on his sailing yacht, Asgard. During the Irish Civil War, he was killed by the authorities of the nascent Irish Free State. He was the son of British Orientalist scholar Robert Caesar Childers, the cousin of Hugh Childers and Robert Barton, and the father of Erskine Hamilton Childers, Ireland's fourth president. Executed by firing squad after being found guilty of illegally possessing a semi-automatic pistol, his last words were, take a step forward, lads. It will be easier that way. George Engel was born in Germany, but moved to Chicago in 1874. Engel, a staunch opponent of authority and capitalism, lost trust in the political system and joined the International Working People's Association. Along with Albert Parsons, August Spies, and Adolf Fischer, he was a labor union activist who was executed following the Haymarket riot. Engel was convicted of conspiracy. He was suspected of being involved in the catastrophic bombing of Chicago's McCormick plant in 1886. Hurrah for anarchy! This is the happiest moment of my life. Those were his dying words. Charles Carl Panzram was a serial killer, rapist, arsonist, robber, and burglar from the United States. In prison confessions and his memoirs, he claimed to have committed 21 murders, the majority of which could not be verified, as well as over 1,000 acts of sodomy on boys and men. He was executed in 1930 for the murder of a prison staff at Leavenworth after a string of imprisonments and escapes. Only five fatalities were confirmed, despite the fact that Panzram is accused of killing more than 100 men in total across the United States. The last words of Panzram were, hurry it up, you Hoosier bastard. I could hang a dozen men while you're screwing around. James French was serving a life sentence at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary in McAllister for killing a West Virginia motorist who had picked him up while hitchhiking in 1958. French had actually requested a death sentence for that charge, but the jury handed down a life sentence anyway against his wishes. When he went to trial for Shelton's murder, French asked the judge to sentence him to death and deny all future appeals because he wished to die in the electric chair, and he explained that he committed the murder to compel the state of Oklahoma to execute him. The judge obliged his request. His last words were, how about this for a headline for tomorrow's paper? French fries. George Appel was sentenced to death for the murder of a New York City police officer, and was sent to the electric chair in 1928. Police Lieutenant Charles J. Kemmer walked into a Brooklyn restaurant just as Appel and an accomplice finished robbing it. In the ensuing scuffle, prosecutors said Appel shot Kemmer three times. Though mortally wounded, Kemmer jotted down the plate number of their getaway car. The clue was crucial and landed the partners in jail. The Graham and Appel's last statement was Daniel J. Graham Jr., a former patrolman convicted of killing a paymaster. Appel, age 41, confessed to the murder in prison, but the evidence was found to be so flimsy, no new trial was ordered, according to a newspaper account. Graham was executed the same evening as Appel. Appel's last words were, well, gentlemen, you are about to see a baked appell.
On March 20, 1995, Thomas J. Grasso, a 32-year-old male double murderer, was executed by lethal injection at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary in McAllister, Oklahoma, United States. On December 24, 1990, he strangled Hilda Johnson, an 87-year-old woman, with her Christmas tree lights at her Tulsa home. He stole $8 from her purse, $4 in spare change, and her TV, which he sold for $125. On July 4, 1991, six months after relocating to New York with his wife, Lana, he murdered Leslie Holtz, an 81-year-old man from Staten Island, and stole his social security payment. On April 21, 1992, Grasso pled guilty and was sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. Grasso's final words before his execution were, I did not get my spaghetti OS, I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Aileen Carol Wernos was a serial killer and prostitute from the United States who murdered seven men in Florida in 1989 and 1990 by shooting them at point-blank range. Wernos stated that her victims raped or attempted to rape her while seeking sex from her, and that all of the murders were done in self-defense. She was given the death penalty for six of the murders and was executed on October 9, 2002, by lethal injection. Her final words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus, June 6, like the movie Big Mother Ship and all. I'll be back. Between 1956 and 1958, Peter Thomas Anthony Manuel was convicted of murdering seven people in Lanarkshire, Scotland. Many suspect he is responsible for the disappearances of two more people but there was never enough proof to establish he was involved. Before he was apprehended, he was dubbed the Beast of Birkinshaw. Turn up the radio and I'll go quietly. Those were his final words. <laughs>